Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the Mozilla Firefox search and autocomplete features. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use search, manage search engines, use the find bar, use autocomplete in the address bar. In this tutorial, we will use Firefox version 7.0 on Ubuntu 10.04. One of the most common things people do on the internet is to search for information. One can search for a specific website or for some other information. Mozilla Firefox has a number of functionalities that make it easy to search for information on the internet. Let's look at some of the ways. One way is to search by visiting other websites. After all, search engines are websites too. In the URL bar, Type www.google.com. The Google homepage comes up. In the search box of the Google homepage, type email and click search. The search engine brings up all the results. We see that the top result is for Gmail, the email from Google. But there is an easier way to do the same thing with Mozilla Firefox. Next to the URL bar on the navigation toolbar, there is a search bar field. Alternately, you can press Ctrl plus K to directly go to the search bar field. Click on the search bar and type email. Click the magnifying glass icon that is next to it. We will see the results of the search in the contents area. We see that the top result is for Gmail, the email from Google. On the left side of the search bar, the logo of the search engine which has been used to bring up the results is seen. The default search engine used in Mozilla Firefox is Google, but we need not be constrained by this. We can choose the search engine of our choice. Click on the Google search engine logo within the search bar. We notice that a drop-down box appears with the logos of most popular search engines, including Yahoo and Bing. Select Yahoo from the drop-down box. We observe that the logo on the left of the search bar has now changed to the Yahoo logo. Now let's type email again in the search bar and click the magnifying glass. This time we see that the results in the contents area are from the Yahoo search engine. Observe that the results are slightly different from last time. The top result is no longer Gmail. Instead, the top result is Yahoo Mail. Click on the search engine logo within the search bar again. In the drop-down box, select Manage Search Engines. This opens a dialog box entitled Manage Search Engines List. Click on the last item in the list. The buttons on the right side are now enabled. Click on the Remove button. We see that the item we chose is no longer on the list. Click on OK to close the dialog box. Click on the search engine logo within the search bar again. Click on Manage Search Engines. The Manage Search Engines list dialog box pops up. At the bottom of the dialog is a link that says Get More Search Engines. Click on it. A new browser tab opens. It displays a number of search engines that we can add to the search bar. You can add any of the search engines according to your requirement. Let's close this tab by clicking on the X at the corner of the tab. We can find specific text which is within the contents area with the help of the find bar. In the URL bar, type www.gmail.com and press enter. When the Gmail homepage is loaded, Click on Edit and then on Find. A Find bar appears at the bottom of the browser window. In the text box of the Find bar, type Gmail. As we type, we see that the first instance of that text is being highlighted in the contents area. Clicking on Next will move the focus to the next instance of the word. Clicking on Previous will move the focus to the previous instance of the word. Click on the Highlight All option. We see that all the instances of the search text are highlighted in the contents area. 
Mozilla Firefox makes it easy to type web addresses in the URL bar with its autocomplete functions. We don't have to type the entire web address in the address bar. Try this. In the address bar, type GMA. We see that Mozilla Firefox tries to autocomplete the word we are typing. It brings up a drop-down list with websites that start with GMA. Choose the Gmail link from the drop-down list. The Gmail web page loads in the contents area. If we do not like this feature, we can turn it off. Click on Edit and then on Preferences. Windows users can click on Tools and then on Options. Choose the Privacy tab from the list of main menu tabs. At the very bottom of the dialog box is an option named When Using Location Bar Suggest. Click on the arrow of the drop-down list to expand it. Select Nothing from the list. Click on Close to close the dialog box. Let's go back to the address bar and type GMA. Notice that no suggestions come up. This concludes this tutorial of Mozilla Firefox searching and autocomplete features. In this tutorial, we learned how to use search, manage search engines, use the find bar, use autocomplete in address bar. Try this comprehension test assignment. Change the search engine in the search bar to Yahoo. Search for spoken tutorial. Click on the first result. Find how many times the word video appears in the page. Now, click on Highlight All to highlight all the instances of the word video in the web page. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.